Gold Coast Water Police are prepping for a busy and dangerous summer in our canals as a spike in unsafe operation of boats is expected to hit. The water cops have applied for more speed radars, increased patrols, and have just bought two new jet skis to help in the fight to save lives. With groups like the Tinny Rats bragging about their dangerous escapades on YouTube and Facebook, Senior Sergeant and the man in charge of water police operations, Lucas Young, says it's only just the beginning. The problem we have is these young fellas are all getting these GoPro cameras and they're putting it on YouTube and they're trying to outdo each other so the risk level goes up and eventually someone's going to get seriously hurt or killed and it's a behaviour that we need to knock on the head. However, the state government sees groups like the Tinny Rats as only a small part of a much larger problem. A review of the last four years of Queensland speed infringement notices on waterways has found that the Gold Coast is a hotspot for 70% of the bad behaviour. Waterways of the Gold Coast are one of the busiest in Queensland, or the busiest waterway in Queensland for recreational boats. Our uh, recreational boats are your uh, dinghies, your uh, big cruisers, and a hell of a lot of jet skis. Our biggest thing is the jet skis because there's so many of them, they can go so quick at an instant, and there's uh, limited braking on some of those uh, models uh, and makes, some of them don't. They have to stay away 60 metres from people on, uh, in the water swimming, or surfers, or uh, boats at anchor. 60 metres is further than, a, than an Olympic pool, they have to be away, or they can only do the six knots. And we're finding a lot of those jet ski operators aren't doing that. Our waterways here aren't getting any bigger, the congestion's getting more, uh, people need to slow down. We have a lot of six knot areas in the waterways here, and those six knot areas are here for a reason, particularly if the boats are pushing wash and damaging a shoreline, or um, boats don't have a braking system on them, so you've got to operate to the um, safety of the water and, and we need people to slow down.